Yeah. Okay, good morning, everyone, and uh, thanks all for being here, and also thanks to those who are virtually following us uh, in this uh, interesting uh, conference. And uh, in this uh, uh, time, I'm going to present my paper, which is about the gender differences uh, uh, when it comes to the online constructive learning design and learning analytics environment. So basically, in this paper, we want to know what are the differences between uh, males and females in terms of their uh, online behavior for this uh, framework that we are presenting. And uh, my colleagues in this uh, paper are uh, Dr. Carlos Hashem and uh, also uh, Magdi Parwane from uh, in Tafel University in Turkey and Carlos Hashem also from uh, Bach University in the Netherlands. And uh, I'm also a social professor of educational technology at uh, Bach University and research. So we all know about the learning analytics, which uh, basically offers us quite a lot of information um, uh, basically, we collect a lot of data and analyze those data and present those data to teachers and the students in order to improve the of learning. But in order to take advantage of learning analytics, we need to consider different types of what we call configuration because it guides us to actually interpret the learning analytic reports. So in order to do that, we kind of uh, use the constructivist learning environment uh, to design, which includes the learning analytics, in which I will present those uh, frameworks a little bit later in the method section. And we found that this uh, uh, framework is very helpful with regard to improving students' engagement and self-regulation activities, which I also think that is one of the 21st century things that we just uh, talked about. So what, what we don't know is that uh, how female and male students perform with regard to their engagement and also self-regulation when we use this uh, uh, framework. And as a result in this uh, paper, we have two research questions to answer uh, uh, this issue. The first one is the uh, extent to which gender affects the student's engagement. And the second one is the extent to which gender affects the student self-regulation in the uh, constructivist learning analytic design framework in online setting. So basically what we did uh, was that uh, we conducted a pre-test, post-test design with one group only, and uh, the study was conducted in Iran at Al-Lamba University. We used the uh, Moodle platform and also the course that we run this experiment was called the teaching field, in which uh, was run with uh, basically two consecutive weeks. Uh, in total, 50 graduate students participated in this study, and there were only 13 male students and 37 female students. So we could not actually uh, uh, kind of balance this number because it was conducted in the real educational settings and we didn't have any influence on that regard. Uh, when it comes to measurements, we used uh, two uh, uh, surveys. The one was uh, basically from uh, RIV and the uh, James Agent Engagement Scale, and the second one was from Brown Self-Regulation Scale that we used uh, in order to actually measure a student's uh, self-regulation self and also engagement. And we conducted Mancova in order to actually uh, analyze the results. So this is the framework that I was talking about. This framework includes two different elements. The first one is the learning analytic element, which uh, basically offers us a lot of information in terms of data, the, the, the techniques, the process, objectives, and stakeholders, and also the learning design, which uh, basically uh, has quite a lot of elements such as demonstration, activation, interaction, facilitation, application, and also evaluation, or you may also call that assessment. So we uh, offer this uh, uh, basic education based on this framework, and uh, now I'm going to just show you the uh, results in terms of the differences between male and female students with regard to the engagement performance. So as you can see, the starting point of uh, 
both males and females were almost uh, more or less the same, about 3.5. Uh, but uh, in the post test, you see that the females uh, learned much more than the male students, and uh, this means that the engagement of females uh, basically were much better than males when we use this uh, framework in this online environment. Also, when it comes to the self-regulation, the same pattern uh, uh, was true, meaning that, again, the starting point was 3.5 almost for both male and female students, but you see the growth uh, with regard to the self-regulation activities of uh, female students, which is much higher than male students. And uh, this basically uh, tells us that uh, when we use this kind of constructivist learning analytic design, female and male perform differently, especially in online settings. So females tend to be more engaged, and females also tend to be more self-regulated than males. And that has consequences for the design of the learning environment. That has consequences for teachers. So when they want to use this constructive learning analytic design framework in their online teaching, they have to put more attention to the male students because females are more self-regulated than males. And also females are more uh, uh, kind of engaged than male students. So uh, this is also uh, based on the literature that uh, perhaps different kinds of instructional strategies are needed in order to actually take advantage of this design for both female and male students. Thanks for your attention, and I hope uh, that uh, this is uh, insightful for you. And if you have questions, you can send me email, and uh, I will be happy to respond. Thank you.